Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I'm Kelsey and this channel is all about art and oil painting. So today as sort of the voiceover during this time lapse I'm going to be answering some questions that I got on my Instagram. A lot of the questions sort of revolved around whether or not I attended art school, am I a full-time artist, how do you approach a career as an artist, and so I'm going to sort of be answering those questions kind of all together so if you were one of the people that submitted one of those questions hopefully you can sort of find the information that you're looking for in my response it's gonna be a bit lengthy so to start off with I am not a full-time artist I am currently a senior in college I don't make any income from my art right now which is um, a problem that I'm trying to solve through the creation of this YouTube channel and sort of investing a lot of time and effort and money into growing my Instagram and figuring out a strategy that works best for me in order to develop my audience and sort of establish a base of people who are willing to support my work, not just casually, but also with their money. So no, I'm not a full-time artist right now. I am sort of working to get there. I. I'm not there yet, but I'm working really hard to sort of achieve that so that I can become a full-time artist someday. Like I said earlier, I'm a senior in college and I am not an art major. I'm actually a political science major, so I do have a minor in studio art. So the way that it works in the US is that you have a major, that's like the main thing that you're studying, that's what you're getting your degree in. And um, you can also have minors and concentrations which are essentially like electives. They're things that you don't have to do. Um, you can, you know, major in chemistry and minor in basket weaving, um, underwater basket weaving even if you wanted to. I'm just kidding, I don't think any college does underwater basket weaving, but you could if you wanted to. A minor or a concentration is something that sort of really piques your interest, your personal interest. It doesn't necessarily have to be a field that you want to pursue a career in. In this case, I realized a little bit belatedly that I probably should have majored in art um, and maybe minored in political science, but um, I don't know, you know, I had heard my whole life that majoring in art is what dooms you to live a life on the streets and that is definitely not what I wanted, so I found something else that I was interested in, but lately, and maybe this is just a product of the times, politics has just been really draining for me, and so I haven't really wanted to devote a lot of time to it. Um, or a lot of energy into pursuing a career in politics just because it's rough out there. It's emotionally draining and um, yeah, it's tough. So another question is who is my favorite artist? And I think my favorite two artists right now are Erin Hansen, who's an impressionist kind of painter. She pioneered this movement called Open Impressionism. Uh, she does a lot of really beautiful paintings in oil. And Jess Franks, who um, has a similar style to Erin Hansen in terms of like very impressionistic, bold colors, but she works in acrylic. Um, I think those two artists really inspire me personally, um, and I will leave links to their Instagram in the description. Another question that I got is how to um, pursue a career as an artist, and sort of what I would really encourage you to do is to grow your following on social media and really niche down. So find a medium, for me it's oils, oils um, is my favorite medium to paint in, but you need to really niche down, so find a medium that you really love, master that essentially, devote all of your time to learning about this medium, and then if you can, work on your fundamentals, develop your style. So yeah, I would really encourage you to develop following, I think that is the most important part. Um, so start that YouTube channel, um, start an Instagram. Once you've reached a point where like you can comfortably launch an online shop, uh, then I would really encourage you to maybe launch your Patreon. Um, the conversion rate is essentially expect like me one percent of your followers to transfer over to Patreon, so factor that in. Um, really explore the platforms that are out there and figure out what works best for you. I got one question that asks what my favorite color to paint in at the moment is right now. I would say yellow. Um, yellow is quickly becoming my favorite color, if I'm, I'm gonna be honest actually, just because, I don't know, like, it's really bright and it's really happy and um, it sort of encourages me to be more positive, I think, when I use that color. And let's see. Uh, this next question is from one of my friends. <laughs> um, what inspires me to create when I'm not feeling well inspired? I would say um, the thing that inspires me to create is just sort of the knowledge that I need to do this if I want to develop my career just because I need to have 
um, pieces to sell, I need to have a cohesive portfolio, I need to figure out sort of how can I, um, you know, create my body of work and develop my skill and that's through a lot of practice and so even when I'm not feeling inspired, to be honest, I don't really paint a lot when I'm not feeling inspired, but when I do paint when I'm not feeling inspired, it's from a place of I need to have a cohesive body of work, I need to get better at this one thing in order to have a career um, in this thing that I really want to have a career in. Yeah, I think this painting is just about complete and I've run out of questions. So um, yeah, I hope you guys are doing well and I wish you all the best and I will see you in the next one. Okay, bye.